Hi guys, welcome back to Fieldcraft Catties. In today's video, we've got the Spitfire Pro by Leeton's Catties. And then a new knife I got from Corey Hewitt. Go check him out, he has some absolutely great stuff um, that you can trade and buy off him. I got a couple of knives for him, but I got this really nice little knife which matches the bands and the frame of this. And I'm sure it's some very thin bands, so they were long jaw bands, which is a little hint to my next video. But um, I've cut them down. These are made by Tommy James. As you can see they're very, very nice bands. And what I've got here, I've got a Foster's can that's led down. And so I'm going to try and hit the bottom of it from all the way back up there, which I've measured it is about 45 metres. So we're going to be, this, this is 0.55, maybe BSB white, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but it looks like it may be tapered like 25, 15 maybe. Uh, no, not 20, maybe 20, 15, something like that. And then we're going to be shooting some 8mm steels. We're going to see if we can hit that. Well, and uh, as you can see, I've been doing a bit of archery out there. But um, yeah, basically from that hedge line. And we're going to, I'm not sure whereabouts I'm going to put the camera yet. I'm probably going to put the camera there. I do want to apologise for the uh, lack of videos. But my phone, I smashed up my phone, so I've been about to get a new one. I'll tell you what, that's a pretty nice place. I'm going to slip my camera there. I'm going to head on down. Spitfire Pro. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there we have it. Now that literally took about four minutes to do that. And I hit it just at the, it was led down at that sort of angle and that's exactly where I hit it, right there like that. I took a few shots, it was, I'll tell you what, that distance, it was hard to see. I moved forward a little bit at that five meters, so about 40 meters, but that's the Spitfire Pro by Leeton's Catties. And um, yeah, and the Tommy James, Tommy James bands, Right there, 0.55 BSB, 25.15 taper roughly. But I'll tell you what, that was hard because I, I could barely see the ammo sort of flying. So basically I had it up and I was seeing, I don't, I don't even think any of the impact shown up. But when it was hitting this, it was creating like a little bit of dust almost. So I could, I could sort of see where I was hitting. Like I hit this a couple times as well, like there, right there. Oh, yeah, right there, and I take that ricochet back and hit the pig pen that stood up over there. But, um, yeah, it was a. It took a lot. It didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. But I tell you what, my holdover was absolutely mental. Like, I was aiming, obviously, I shoot this way, and I was aiming right about there on the four. And there's a good sort of two second delay of the ammo. And, um,. Now, I'm not entirely sure what chuck shot I'm going to do yet. There isn't really, I can't really go too much further for the safety of the windows of the cabin. But I reckon, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm going to come up with another trick shot as that thing took a, didn't take long enough. So I might do like a maybe, third, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I see something over here. So, looks like the lid of like an oasis bottle or something like that. Salt, salt bottle lid. Clean that off. That's what we're going to hit now. It's slightly smaller than, it's actually a fair bit smaller than the bottom of the can. There's shotguns going off. 
Yeah, that's a fair bit smaller than the bottom of the can. I'm going to set that up in like a spot where it's going to be kind of secure and not fall over all of the time. What I normally do is what I do to set up ball caps is I push them down like that and then push on the corner. It doesn't seem to be working with this one. Great. Right, I'm going to get that set up, set up the camera. Then I'm going to pick a distance 30, 35 or 40 metres. And we're going to hit there. Alright, this is with the uh, Spitfire Pro by Leeton's Catties. Gorgeous aluminium frame, solid block of aluminium, machined on a multi-million pound machine, and a uh, Tommy James bands. Bottle cap is there. And I'm going to stand down there. Look at that. That is absolutely smashed. I counted that time, I took 18 shots. Which actually isn't too bad, I wouldn't say. 18 shots to hit that bottle cap. Granted, it's not your normal size bottle cap. But I am very, very happy with that. And that was, I decided to maybe well go for the same distance again. So that was 40 metres. That's two 40 metre shots. 40 metre, bottom of a Foster's can. 40 metre, salt lid. Tell you what though, I two or so, I never put two and two together till I came out today and realised that these two match, and they look absolutely gorgeous. And yes, I have taken some nice photos. I'll be up on my Instagram, probably TikTok and Facebook before this video comes out. But um, yeah, that took four minutes to do as well. Uh, literally, I've got a little time of four minutes to do. But what I think is funny is you could kind of you look down at eight mil, eight mil, eight mil, eight mil. All these eight mils where they came back and hit this, so I've been sort of overshooting. Like I get, I do, but like again, that was literally sort of some uh, some guesswork, but it's more so setting it up and just seeing whereabouts it was hitting. And plus, it it's kind of uh, it's pretty windy. It's pretty windy today. We keep getting pretty strong gusts of wind, but um, yeah, I tell you, what, I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if it still is on offer, but I know this frame. This frame was on offer for a little while. Hopefully it is, so you can get yourself one of these. I think they're uh, £60 now, down from 70 I think these are 50 down from 60 or so, or 60 down from 70 But, um, yeah, it's one of my favourite frames I've shot. Like, I think when I did the review, I showed you, I got a squirrel that was like 20-odd metres up. I think it must have been 25 metres up in a tree and got a clean side of the head sort of thing. And it's just like... But... Yeah, absolutely gorgeous frame. Or if you can't afford one of these, go get yourself Spitfire. I've only just took the bands off of this because it had that bad, it had the Tommy James bands on there and my own uh, 0.5 white bands on there. So I just took them off and couldn't be asked to put them back on. But um, yeah, both my little Spitfires. I start. I got this one like about oh, maybe a year ago, nearly. And yeah, I, th I think it's literally been around a year ago that I got this frame. As you can see, it's been through the wars where I've let my mate shoot it. But this is a frame that I I know if it takes a frame hit, it's going to take it and I can still kill anything with it. Like I took my first ever pheasant with this frame. Um, taken, I've taken hundreds of bits of game with this frame. And I've taken a few good shots with this frame as well. They're exact same dimensions. I think the Pro might be a little bit longer, but not by much. No, they are identical. But yeah, I think they're, I think, £22 something. I think they might come with bands. Obviously, you've got your Allen key for clamps. These are a little bit more expensive, but a bit more for the advanced shooter. Very flashy frame. And I, 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 I haven't shot this frame much since I did that video, as I am dead scared of frame hitting it, to be honest with you.
there's aluminium as well, it's going to show up. But um, yeah, definitely check out some of these. I reckon what we're... I don't know what I'm going to do now. I might film myself doing a couple of artery, artery shots. I have lost two hours already, but... Um, yeah, it's... I went to archery shop yesterday. I'm for literally every, for all throughout the year. I'm constantly picking up my bow for a few weeks, putting it down for a few weeks, picking it up for a few weeks. And as you can see, but I bought these new uh, 30 inch aluminium arrows yesterday because I was just shooting some pretty crappy carbon fiber ones. But yeah, I'm not shooting anything expensive either with this. Just my trusty little Barnet bow, 15 pound draw, so nothing massively extensive and just having a bit of fun shooting i do want to get a compound bow but i feel like i might need to actually get myself into it a bit more but uh, let's do a bit of shooting That's your pretty cushy little grouping. Look at that. Completely out of where I want to be, but even still, still got a good little grouping on it. Oh, look at that. These aluminium arrows penetrate way deeper than them. But um, yeah, as you can see, I'm all over the place. But I got a little grouping with the Spitfire from all the way out there earlier. Just having a bit of fun. There's no way I can get that with arrows. But um, yeah, I must admit, I do quite like bows. Close to the bullseye. Got it in the group and I was shooting with the Spitfire. Right, probably get back to what this channel was intended for. Catties. So, um, yeah, I 100% highly recommend you get yourself a Spitfire. Or, to be fair, any Elite. In another video showcasing this absolute beaut of a frame. And, um, yeah, if you're gonna. If you're going to get yourself a frame, I highly recommend it from Leeton's Catties. They're cheap, cheap as chips, arguably one of the cheapest uh, places on the market for your quality frames. These are, they're not HDPE, I'm pretty sure they're not. They're like UM something, but it's like a harder material, I think. But CNC cut, all precision, all, got, all come clips as well. And then you, I got my knife from Corey Hewitt as well. Go check him out. He has loads of good stuff in um, in stock at the moment. Do good deals with you and trades and stuff. And uh, get your bands from Tommy James right there. Tommy James, loads of bands. He has like pretty much every brand make in stock, and you can get them. I don't know if he does like custom orders, but yeah, definitely the main reason for this is to check out. I just want to do another video on this and. I haven't been shooting much lately as I've been at work a lot and saving up so I can get myself a GoPro and other stuff to make the channel better. But yeah, I'm going to try and get out, get some more videos done. But yeah, please let, let us know in the comments what you want and um, what you want to see next sort of thing. And um, we're going to try and get that done for you. Well, it's only we, it's only me. I'm a one-man show. I film, I, I edit everything. And um, yeah, let us know what you want to... I'm getting used to that. Let me know what you want to see next. And uh, thank you ever so much for watching. It does mean a lot.